Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal. If I say good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review on uh, Wednesday's trading session, the 9th of November 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, shock, uh, disbelief, um, what can we say? Anger, uh, frustration, shock and awe, really. I mean, I can't believe the fact that uh, the Americans were that. Um, what can we say? Um, ignorant. Um, what can we say? I mean, it really is. Is words can't describe it. It's something that I certainly didn't factor into my model. There was no way I had Mr. Trump winning, given the fact that his um, his uh, his comments really are sexist. What can we say? I mean, he's uh, he's a bigot. He's a racist. I mean basically he epitomizes all evil really i mean he's they talk about the axis of evil really i mean he is the axis of evil i mean uh, tell me anything that he's done i mean he's claimed bankruptcy so he can avoid paying tax he's actually got people to work for him and then not paid them because he said he didn't like it okay and nothing's been done okay i'm not sure what sort of example he's setting for america i mean he's he's bragged about sexually groping women uh, and then attempted to what can we say i mean there's, there's nothing nothing good i can say about this individual literally i mean it's it's a shame that uh, hillary herself was not exactly straight and um what can we say i mean it's it's i didn't think the american public were that what shall we say ignorant uh, uh, to actually vote for this uh, chap now whether they've done that as a as a punishment to hillary again that's that wasn't a wise move so going forward it's going to be interesting okay as to what happens with regards to the uh, the u.s election okay so now let's look at the actual um, markets themselves given the fact that uh, i've certainly been up all night looking at this uh, election trying to trade it as well it was an absolute nightmare and a roller coaster okay so let's see exactly what's happening here now the FTSE was down almost 400 points at one time 450 points the german dax was sub 10,000 at one time and before we actually, uh, before we actually attempted to uh, to reverse, or we actually did reverse. So, the fundamentals other than the actual election this morning, I don't think really the markets are, are that focused on um, on anything else. But having said that, the actual trigger for the sell-off overnight was the Chinese inflation numbers. So Chinese inflation numbers coming out hotter than expected, and again. At causing risk aversion and uh, certainly causing uncertainty as well. Now we've got UK trade balance data at present. So UK trade balance data certainly came in on the negative side. Uh, we've had European Commission release economic growth forecasts. EIA data will be important at half past three, so watch out for that. Uh, RBNZ interest rate decision as well will be very important with regards to the Kiwi. Uh, the BOJ had a meeting given the fact that the Nikkei was down minus 5% over, uh, overnight at one specific time. Okay, Aussie inflation data as well, which is going to be important. So nothing really market moving in terms of economic data. So let's look at the actual technicals now, folks. Again, from my understanding, Chinese inflation stronger than expected. Mr. Trump in power, it creates a lot of political uncertainty going forward. And it certainly doesn't bode well for the, uh, the actual American economy, nor does it bode well for the European economy, because this individual really is is one of building walls rather than building bridges and that certainly isn't good for the economic growth okay uh, 10 minute chart of the uh, german dax at the moment again we've attempted to fill that gap the euro really has collapsed the euro has collapsed i mean i've just done an article on the euro usd i mean we had a full circle on the euro if we bring up a 60 minute chart you can see we hit a pivot higher 1.13 before we reverse down to 1.1 this market certainly is um it's very volatile so Initially, we moved higher on the back of Trump concerns. Okay, that's certainly negative for the market. Everybody wants to sell dollars, buy euro, because, as we all know, uh, there's a higher probability that the European Union will uh, stay afloat now, given the fact that Mr. Trump is in charge of the um, the nuclear codes in America. So, again, it's uh, it certainly is scary. Okay, so 60-minute chart, the euro USD back into support at 1.10, uh, certainly looking to bounce. So. This market at the moment, it just looks as if it's pure emotion. I mean, look at that move. Well, you can't have a 300 point pip, a 200 pip plus move on the upside and a 200 pip plus move on the downside. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. But 
that's what the market's trading at okay and we have to uh, try and navigate accordingly okay so euro usd certainly uh, sending uh, shocks to the system uh, now again cable uh, let's bring up cable chart you can look at cable on the 60 minute chart you can clearly see here we certainly seem to have made a potential double top here on cable even though article 50 is in the background bear that in mind folks okay article 50 will be very very important but cable certainly uh, putting in a potential double top here so again dollar certainly seems to be um, uh, certainly seems to be clawing back here now it, this is again uh, something that needs to be debated now mr trump certainly has talked against hillary uh, should, not well, yeah, we all know about hillary sorry uh, against yellen okay and uh, obviously her raising rate given the fact that he's now in power and he's going to uh, certainly um, go forward with his protectionist policies that certainly will trigger inflation okay uh, but will Ye Yellen actually be forced to raise rates? That's the question. If she raises rates, the American economy is basically in big trouble, okay? And again, global economy will be in trouble as well. So again, that's going to be interesting, okay, folks? Bear that in mind. Okay, now in terms of um, uh, sterling, watch out. You certainly are into support 1 1.1 1 to 1.236. So looking to bounce here and therefore looking for risk aversion in equities, okay? It's all about the euro, really. I mean, you can... T you can pinpoint on it, the election etc etc but it all boils down to the euro on cable with regards to the european indices and obviously uh, uh, econ data as well right let's look at the german dax now folks so german dax certainly putting in a double top intraday at 10 40 i mean it's one hell of a move if you think of it i mean we had a pivot low overnight below sub 10,000 before the german dax actually rallied and look at the rally itself i mean it's almost 450 points it's, it's very impressive okay very very impressive and how do you trade that move is impossible okay it really is impossible and very tough and that's why i stick with the euro stocks because it's not as well as the rest okay so the uh, french cag as soon as we hit gap fill we've obviously sold off we've been butchered okay the uh, double top certainly is on the french cag we made, we held a lower high okay we certainly have pushed high up to gap fill so looking at risk aversion as soon as we close the gap uh, now we have a gap fill on the 60 minute chart of 4476 so if we hit 4476 looking for risk off your holding previous resistance equals support so uh, certainly uh, certainly something to look out for there previous support equals resistance here so again looking for risk aversion on european equities okay so european equities given that the euro is at 1.1 support looking for risk off also same with the FTSE 100 uh, you clearly see that there's a hns formation now so you certainly have a fundamental catalyst for this hns your left shoulder your head okay we've hit the hit the neckline now we're looking for a right shoulder looking to flush <coughs> excuse me <coughs> what's it excuse me i certainly have um, got a cold now staying up all night so you certainly have the hns formation uh, potentially in play folks okay given the fact that uh, mr trump now is in power it's going to be very hard for him to work with any government to be honest with you okay given his uh, logic uh, defies uh, normal uh, a normal human be uh, being okay so again it's going to be interesting given the fact that he has no experience etc etc regardless of who he attempts to employ and so on and so forth i mean mr obama actually had was quite articulate i mean he was quite intelligent uh, this individual is devoid of that as well so it'll be interesting to see how uh, the uh, the actual uh, u.s government is, is formed and and the unknowns certainly are greater than the knowns okay uh, mr rumsfeld's knowns unknown okay so again it's going to create a lot of uncertainty a lot of instability and therefore one would conclude risk off okay so FTSE 100 <coughs> certainly has bounced impressively it certainly has bounced impressively you can see the pivot low there at six six nine five and you certainly had a pivot low overnight at six six five twenty wow 6520 on the FTSE 100 overnight okay so at the moment we certainly are basically um, trading sideways okay so looking for a uh, move lower okay looking to potentially test the 696790 again look at 200 ma 6780 and 6760 so looking for a move lower folks okay watch out for the uh, the move below okay on that note be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus goodbye now.